Okay, so today I decided that I was going to do my whole makeup, and then I'm going to show you some tricks I learned. I'm not a makeup artist by any means, but I'm going to show you what I do and what works for me. And that's what you should do, is what works for you. Okay? I already primed my face with primer, and then I let it dry for like five minutes. It's really moisturizing, the one I use, so if I don't let it dry enough, it it's not a unique product, but it, um, it is a Walmart brand. Okay, so I'm, you know, putting some foundation on. Oh, I usually take my nose ring off. Because then I don't have to clean it afterwards when I get foundation on it. Okay. Tear. Okay. I kind of make sure, that, you know, let it appear. Got this egg at Target. It was like six dollars, maybe. I've always used a sponge. I've, you know, I tried using a brush to do foundation, but I use a a cream and not a liquid, and it, this is just easier for me. And if you were wondering, when you have one of these blender things, um, <clears throat> you should uh, keep it wet if you're using liquid foundation. You can use a toner on it to keep it wet, and then you it won't soak up so much of your expensive foundation or, you know, your... Whatever you're putting on your face, concealer, blending it out, highlighting, contouring, it just, it seems to work better. Got my other mirror over here, so. <laughs> okay, I like to pat mine up here real good because that seems to be where I sweat it off the most and I'm very excited because we're coming out with this new product to use as a set to set your makeup okay setting your makeup is like hairspraying your hair after you get it done you know it just keeps it the way you want it and what it does is it sets your face and then it will help you so, you know, during the middle of the day, which what I struggle with is all this makeup that's right here, it kind of just comes off. <clears throat> okay? So I'm excited to get that. I, as a presenter, can get it on the February 15th. So hit me up if you'd like me to order you some. And it's translucent, so it, you know, the container is, you know, black, but inside the powder is a very white okay but once you put it on and you kind of use a blender thing it'll which i need to clean mine it'll go to your natural skin color and you won't have like some crazy white spots on your face don't worry And now I'm going to, ex I have this um, Moodstruck Lip Exfoliator. And it tastes, I'm the person who won't use any lip products if they don't taste good, okay? And it's white, and it has, I don't know if you can see that, but it uh, is like sugar in there. 
and it tastes and smells good, and you just... Okay, and now I'm going to use our Shine Cloths, which are amazing because I always struggled, like, I always would use a baby wipe, okay? And, um, you know, it left my skin real dry, but these are moist. And it just takes this stick exfoli exfoliates the dry skin. Keeps your lips smooth. So if you're going to put a uh, lipstick or lip gloss on, you don't get those spots where, you know, you can see those dry skin. And the shine cloth, they're, they don't really have a strong scent. And I can use one of these whole sheets to... Uh, Clean off my whole face. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do a little highlighting and contour. I watched some cool trick videos the other day, and I found a few things that I really like. Okay, the general thing with makeup is you start with the lightest stuff first, and then you work to the dark okay so I'm using kind of like a fluffy blender brush and I put some right here and then right here and then right there and it just gives you the perfect pout once you have your whole look together like right now I probably look crazy but right now it's it works okay and now I'm gonna do the black stuff <clears throat> the brown contouring powder my daughter says that when I do this I look like a monster but She never says that I look like a monster after, so, you know, that's good. And, like, okay, if you don't know what contouring is, it, like, makes your face look, you can make your face look skinnier. I have a huge hunk and nose, so I kind of just do it the sides a little, and then it gives me more of a slimming nose. Wish I would have learned that younger. You never know. Kids are assholes. Jerks. I did not say that. I meant jerks. Okay, right here on your jawline. Okay, and I put some down here to cover up my fat chin. Cause you know, you know, like black makes you look slimmer or whatever. I don't know. It just I watch some videos and that's you know general. I'm just blending it. And I don't do any kind of, any crazy, you know, sort of contouring where I look like super glamorous. I just do, you know, a little bit. And I'm blending this down, okay? I'm going to take that down so it, you know, it 
frames this area. And then, you know, get that light stuff up. Okay. And the next thing I usually do is I... I don't do any sort of blush until I'm done with my eyes. Because, you know, I won't put as much of a blush on if I'm going to do, like, really dramatic eyes. And today, kind of a lazy day. Well, not really lazy, but, you know, I don't have anywhere to go, you know. Going to the kid, to get the kid from school, you know. So, I'm going to do kind of a simple look. <clears throat> And I'm using palette four. And okay. These are the colors. When I first got this in the kit, I saw these blues and I thought I'm supposed to put those on my eyes. Why would I put those on my eyes? Because you know, when you have I, when I see blue lines, I la eyeshadow. Initially, I think of the lady from the Drew Carey show. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll know. Or just Google her. She has some very interesting taste in music. Or makeup. Okay. And we want to start with our lightest color. And I'm going to use this unique angled shadow sponge brush. Before I put any makeup on, I kind of just wipe the excess or whatever I used yesterday off of it onto my hand. And then I use that same wipe and I just... I use the sponge in edge and I'm going to okay. And the look I'm gonna do today, I'm it may seem like I'm going crazy with this, but I'm using the lightest shade because I'm going to Oh, okay. Just, just my eyebrows are really hideous. And I'm gonna use this light tone as a um as a base for the dark to stay on. And you know, you don't have to do this, but this is just what works best for me. Okay. I'm going to do, it's called a halo. It sounds really fancy. It's kind of like a little, like one more step than a, uh, a smoky eye. It's like a smoky eye, but both sides are smoky. But the middle is kind of a lighter color. And I'm going to use the Splurge Cream Shadow for that in um, Extravagant. It's really cool. And I'm not really one to be like trying new things. I am a creature of habit. And you know, I saw this and I thought, because it's, it's cream, you know, and I'm like, on my eye? And it's really gold here, but when it dries, it's more of a... Mm, not as dark as it is in the in the little uh, container. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta grab a brush. gonna use this the other side of that unique brush okay and I'm gonna grab this this brown they look like 
here on my phone they look green, but they're definitely not like green, they're brown. And I can use, I, if I wanted to, I could use this whole palette on my face and not have to use any like eyeliner, any eyebrow stuff. Okay, we'll start here with this brown and you pat it. You get some on this side right there and then you Okay, it looks crazy right now, but it'll... Okay. That's not the one I meant to grab. I meant to grab this one. Okay, so you know how to notice how ugh, notice how I have this white part. I'm gonna clean this up over here. You know, you have to blend. And then I oh, gonna grab this little. It's like a fine tuner. I think you could use it with. Uh, see, look, I covered that mess up. And there's this whole thing where you could, uh, I'm just cleaning up the line down there, where you could, uh, you could do your eyes before you do the rest of your face, but, you know, I fill in basically all of my eyebrows, because I kind of have this little comma of an eyebrow right here, and then, like, you can see it in this lighting, that I have, like, a little, okay? I'm just really fair skin and my hair is naturally very light <clears throat> okay so we've done that I like to take this blending brush again and then I go a little lighter and I go right here there's a little accent and I'm right there okay because this is key to this halo look is that you have to leave a little spot right here for a more uh, glamorous color okay and if we really want to show it off we could use that light color Got that light color on there, okay? See, like the difference. I have really small eyeballs. Like, so. And you know what? So I decided that I'm gonna use some of this sparkle cream shadow now as a accent right here. Let's see if you can see it. See, somebody texted me, sorry. I'm gonna introduce this for you. Okay, I'm gonna finish this eye and then I'll show you, okay? So I've used the lightest color 
this. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have my a light. I've used this one, this one, or no, not that one. This one. And now I'm gonna take this navy color, and I'm gonna use a different brush, and I'm gonna just grab a little and dust it off, and put. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay. What I like to do is I use the angled brush and I just kind of outline it first. Give me a base of where my eyebrow should be. See, now I have an eyebrow. And now I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to take it. Clean the brush off. Okay, see, I got that. Got that going on. Satisfied with that look. That eye. Now for my favorite part, okay. the mascara. Okay, I tried the. Oh, sorry, I just straightened my legs out, sitting on the floor. <clears throat> okay, when I tried Unique Mascara two years ago, you know, it had like. I had just heard about them. I'm like, oh, I gotta try this. And since then, I've learned some techniques that really work. Okay, it's three steps for just our basic, some zazzy with their eyelashes, okay? First, you take this, it's, and it's, when you get, when you get a box of the mascara, it comes with the card on the steps. And there's a little, little bag for you to put the transplanting gel and the fiber lashes. Okay. You take the wand and you're not supposed to like pump this. You're supposed to like go like this with the wand, you know, if you really need extra, but there is a lot in this too. Okay. And it now our new reformulated stuff, it is waterproof. Okay, so I'm going with this. Okay, and now we're gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, now I got the green tea fibers. Okay, 
And now we go back and we get another layer of this gel. Like, look at that. No eyelashes, lashes. And I am feeling like I need some glam eyes today. So before that dries, I'm gonna get some more fiber in there. Okay, fibers. Another layer of gel. Okay. Now, after I complete my second uh, eye, my other eye, I set it all with some powder, and then I put on some lipstick, and we're ready to go. Normally, it does not take me this long, but I got distracted by the talking.